Assalamualaikum and best regards to the Honourable Panel. I am Tan Kidian from Grand Makmo Construction Sendiran Bahad. We are here today to present you about the construction project of Earthwork for Phase 1 at Lot 14020, Mukim Jiran Batu, Pontian, Johor for Tropicana Industrial Park Sendiran Bahad. It is a pleasure for me to introduce you my team from Grand Makmo Construction Sendiran Bahad. We are a contractor based in Johor Baru. As a project manager, I will start this presentation. In this project, we will divide the time frame into three parts, which is pre-work construction, present work construction, and post-work construction. All the details will be further explained. I will then present the project development prepared by Grand Makmu Construction Sendirian Bahad. This construction project of, of work for Phase 1 at Lot 14020, Mukim Jiran Batu, Pontian Johor, for Tropicana Industri Industrial Park Sendirian Bahad, will be placed under the provision of Tropicana Corporation Bahad. The cost for this construction project is 51 million and 900,000 ringgit. This project will be started on 7 December 2022 and it will be completed by 8 April 2024. Lastly, the site will be handed over to Tropicana Corporation Bahad on 11 April 2024. Excluding delays due to weather or other reason, this project will be completed in 491 days. I will now pass the presentation to my colleague from Grand Makmo Construction Center Bahad, Muvian Raj. Thank you. Hello everyone, myself I'm Muvian Raj Ananda Kumar with matrix number AA2009 and I'm here to talk about the organizational breakdown structure of Grand Makmo Construction Center Bahad. But before that, let me have one or two words about the type of PMC adopted for this project. So basically the type of PMC adopted for this project is that design, bid and build, whereas our client, in this case Tropicana Park Industrial, Sedia and Berhad, uh, had certain requirements uh, to be done uh, in the project side. So we as an e-consultant, we propose or we design uh, a project and we bid for the tender and once we get the tender, we proceed with the construction, which will be explained in detail by my group members uh, in the further part of the uh, presentation. Now let's have a look. Let's have a look uh, in about the organization breakdown structure of Grand Makmo Constructions in the Amarhat. So now, talking about the organization breakdown structure of Grand Makmo Constructions in the Amarhat, we consist of seven people in total in uh, our OBS. So the first person is definitely our project manager, uh, Tan Sri I.R. Tan Kidian, uh, is the project manager of this project, and uh, followed by our three teams, which are present planning and control team, which is leaded by uh, Miss Nur Hani Amira, who's also known as the planning manager of our company, followed by surveyor, or she holds in a position of Sir Ayman Batrisha, who's the quantity surveyor of our company. Moving to the next team that we hold in our construction company is that uh, me, myself, as an procurement and administration team head, Myself, Dr. Movian Raj, and followed by site management and engineering team, which is led by our senior engineer manager, Dr. Naufal Hazmi, and assisted by Dr. Darshan as the site manager. And after all, the most importantly, uh, Mr. Shahiru Rafiq also helps us in terms of safety as a safety engineer uh, in our site. So that's all for me. I'll pass it to the next presenter. Thank you. So, for the meta statement for this project is first, reconstruction. We start with dilapidation survey. The dilapidation survey, inspection record and report are important because they serve as an accurate record of the condition of buildings and structures to the construction before and after construction. Then, continue with setting up. Second, need to get the authorities approval in various aspects to proceed the next step of the project at that site. After that, construction phase. First, we start with site clearing, which is clearing, scrubbing, and removing all trees, topsoil, shrubs, and vegetation as well. Removing all structures above ground level within the site. Sandiment point one, which is ground treatment activity, to treating with termite site before the building is constructed. Then proceed with receiver earth drain for outlet and inlet. Construction of ground. For ground farm, need to access to incoming supplies and exiting post larvae and pass through a good old weather road. Construction pond sediment has a significant impact on water bodies and larvae types. 
when you are planning a construction project, you are going to need to provide some temporary facilities. Every construction site will need some temporary facilities to be provided, even if you are working on existing site. Because construction work is messy and dangerous, you need to protect the people not involved in the project. Harding is a solid concrete construction structure placed around the perimeter of building sites to keep them hidden and prevent unwanted access. Last step for this phase is mangue and bar drop. It's easy to enter and exit from the construction area to make sure it is not disturbed by the construction area. Last but not least is completion. It is time to hand over to the client once the contract administrator has confirmed that's all of the contractor's requirements. Hi, I'm going to talk about WBS. WBS is a work breakdown structure that are designed related based on the method of spend. WBS is a deliverable book-oriented breakdown of a project into a small company. In order to help the organization their way into a manageable section, I as a senior engineer manager, we'll make sure that every single work here will follow the safety SOP in order to prevent unpredictable situation. Thank you. Okay, now there is 18 lists of activity for this project starting from pre-construction until completion of the project. Based on the schedule, we can start this project 7 of December 2022 and finish the project on 11 April 2024. So in this table is where to determine project probability for this project. As we can see here, bird analysis use three types of duration, which is optimistic, where it is the shortest time duration, most likely where activity can accomplish within a time, and pessimistic, where the longest time to finish. From bird analysis, we can also get estimated time and its variant for each activity. Here we achieve overall duration from network diagram that will be shown after this. Now from the overall duration show as 491 days less than the expected time which in 500 days. Yet from every detail we get from PET analysis we can assure the percentage that the project can finish on time or not as it's shown it is 90.8% high, the higher than the project can finish on time and only 9.2% that it will not finish. Here is the network diagram that we can take the duration of the project. Again, that equals to 491 days. And from the network diagram, also we get two critical pulses which start from A to C. And next is B, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. MNPQR activity. Hi, I'm Dashan. My position in this company as a site manager. I will explain about our project timeline or gun chart. Gun chart basically used to planning and scheduling the project. Now, let's see our project gun chart. Our project will be started on 7 December 2022. And if the project went well without any problems occur, the estimated time of the project will be finished on 11th April 2024. The duration of this project is 491 days. This project will have three stages of construction. Firstly, the first stage of this project is pre-construction. Under this stage, we will have preliminaries that involves dilapidation survey and also setting up. Next, we need authorities approval such as um, TNB, JKR and PTG that will occur on 7 December 2022 until 9 December 2022. Then our second stage is construction. In this stage, first we need to clear the site by removing the trees, bushes and also topsoils. And it takes about 54 days started from 20th December 2022 until 22nd March 2023. Following by sediment pond 1 that involved ground treatment. After that, earthwork and pipe installation uh, for reservoir occur and earth drain for outlet and also inlet will be constructed. The third, st third stage is construction of prawn farm. The activities involved are prawn farm 1 to 20 will be start from 12 July 2023 until 24th February 2024 and sediment pond 2 following by constructing facilities area, perimeter holding, and main gate and also bar drop. Finally, the completion of the project which occur on 11th April 2024. Then. The project will be handed over to the client. Thank you. Project cost is the total power needed to complete the project that consists of a direct cost and indirect cost. 
by referring to the gun chart and the WBS, we have tabulated cost of the project. They have 18 activities which are tabulated in the cost project. They are the they are lapidation survey, setting out, set clearing, ground treatment and others. So, to run this activity, we cost 51 million and 900,000 ringgit Malaysia. This activity will be finished in a duration of 491 days. Starting from 7 December 2020 and will be finished on 11 April 2024. We get this S curve due to the value of cumulative cost versus with time. This purpose of this consumption S curve is to make sure that the project is checking according to what was planned. So that project is finished on time and on budget. Why you need to choose our company? First, because our team is experienced, the responsible and manage many projects and we can ensure that as we want the standard, you already pass the project to the good company. Experience that most of us gain from previous project will fully been applied to this project and we are ready to challenge ourselves with the opportunity given by you. It will be a great opportunity to combine and share our knowledge, experience and give our best to ensure this project successful. Next, in, in terms of time, cost and quality, everyone know that the price is the most crucial aspect as well as the quality. As everyone aware, our price is 51 million and 900,000 ringgit Malaysia and we know that that is the best amount. We can guarantee you with the price, the project will also consist with shorter total construction time, better finished product quality and optimal material usage. So, the amount that you invest are not going to be wasted. Hope you will choose our company to do your project. Thank you.